Hi there, this is Chris from Cognimation Robotics. In this video, I will be explaining to you how we can make some simple modifications to the sample project robot. Now, you've probably already noticed that there's three cubes in this sandbox project. And the idea here, very simply, is that we want to be able to move these cubes um, from the uh, middle of the mat to the various colored bases here in the corner. Now to do that, I'm going to have to change the robot. I'm going to need to add some kind of mechanism for grabbing those blocks. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I am going to left click on the sample project robot. And you can see that when I do that, I get a set of transforms, which is really just a fancy way of saying the three arrows that represent my X, Y, and Z um, three-dimensional space. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to click up here on the attachments dialog. Now this is very important to remember if I do not select the robot, so I'm going to click off of the sample project robot and back onto one of these cubes as an example, we see that the attachments dialog is grayed out and I can't use it. So I'm going to select the robot um, also worth remembering, if for whatever reason I am not able to get these transforms, chances are I have another uh, tool selected in my toolbar. So as an example, if I come back up to the truck camera button and try and click left click on my robot, nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to come up here, choose the move selected object button, left click on my robot to get my transform arrows, and then I'm going to come back up here. Uh, to the attachments dialog. Now let's just take a look and see what's happening here. In the attachments window, I have on my right hand side my view pane, which is showing me my robot uh, as it currently sits. On the left hand side of the screen, I have a list of accessories that I can add to my robot to make some basic customizations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the lifter attachment, and you can see that I get this green selection highlighting which is showing me where this is going to sit on the robot. So I'm going to hit add. Um, I could of course add many more attachments. So let's just see you know, what else I can put here. In some cases with this color sensor, I can play with the positioning of the attachment. Now here I've clicked on the touch sensor and you can see that this time around I'm getting red selection highlighting. And what that's telling me is that this position is already being used by the color sensor that I added. So if I wanted to add this touch sensor to the left available position, I would actually have to come down here to the color sensor and remove it first. And so if I do that, come back to my touch sensor and hit add, you can see that now I can make that change. I'm going to remove the touch sensor uh, temporarily and I'm just going to leave my robot so that it's using the lifter on the front. Now, um, something else that's worth mentioning is at this stage in the game, if I were to close this window or hit the cancel button, I would lose any changes. So to save the changes that I've made to the robot, which in this case is adding the lifter, I'm going to hit OK. Now, um, you'll have to take it from me here. We haven't yet discussed camera controls. That's going to come up in a future video. But I am going to orbit my view right now. We'll talk about how to do this a little later on. And we can see that the result of me going into the attachments dialog is it's given me my front end lifter. So I'm going to hit the play button to start the simulation. I get my green band here at the top of the screen. And where we have the controls for driving the robot, we notice two additional keys, the X and the C key. And what those two keys do is they actually operate this lifter. So you can see as I move between the X and the C key, I can make the lifter go up and down. And what that's really doing is you can see that this lifter is being controlled by a medium motor uh, here in the middle. So in effect, pressing the X and C keys um, is really just causing the motor to either turn clockwise or make the medium motor turn counterclockwise. So. <laughs> Let's see how good I am at making this robot do what it has to do and grabbing one of these cubes. So we're going to see, I think, that we're going to have a really awful time trying to lasso any one of these cubes. And that's because we haven't discussed yet how to change our camera settings. So we'll leave that up to another video where we will discuss camera controls um, so that we can have an easier time interacting with our environment.